BMW E46 turbo build. In today's video, we're going to install a limited slip rear differential as well as the Megan Racing lower camber arms. Okay, so when it comes to the rear differential, we once again are going to feature our good friends at Diffs Online for the second time on this YouTube channel. They offer amazing products for BMWs. Diffs Online, big sheet of stickers included with every package. Take a look at that lovely limited slip differential. All brand new parts, freshly built from our friends at Diffs Online. This particular differential is a 293 ratio. We opted for the Wave Track LSD. Right here, you can see the Wave Track insignia that verifies that this limited slip differential is built with a Wave Track unit. Now, when it comes to these camber arms, the Megan Racing brand, for the price, very good quality. I am very impressed with these. We have previously installed a set on a different E46. They come in a really nice metallic powder coat finish, packaged very well in the box. Zinc plated nuts, wave lock washers in here. You can see them kind of floating around. And there's also anises on the threads already in here. And it's the copper anises, not the usual aluminum. And the overall build quality is actually really nice. Another benefit is the bushing back here is a monoball or spherical style bushing. It is not a rubber bushing. Okay, so as far as preparation goes for this differential, I'm going to install this cover, which was used on the 330 ZHP automatic transmission models. It is finned, helps with cooling of the fluid for the differential. This was also equipped on Z4 BMWs. A set of brand new bolts for the cover this finned cover uses one longer bolt. The length is 60 millimeters. While these ones are the original 25 millimeter length. Also have brand new drain and fill plugs. And we're going to use Redline Fluid 75W110, which is recommended by Diffs Online themselves. This right here is some of the best gasket maker known to man, Permatex, the right stuff, in the pressurized can. I use this stuff all the time. It works awesome for things like this. Okay, so when it comes to the torque specification of these bolts, it is going to depend on which grade bolt you have. The 8.8 .8 grade bolts, the torque spec for those is 45 newton meters. These ones here, they are a 10.9 grade and they call for 55 newton meters. Take a look at this. Isn't she just lovely? It is now ready to be installed. Here is a quick pro tip. Whenever you are removing camber arms from an E46, I like to leave the wheels installed because it helps you to manipulate the suspension easier with more leverage so you can get these bolts out because they get jarred up and seized whenever there's weight on the suspension a certain way. So leaving the wheel on, you can push against it and get these bolts out on the bottom much easier like that once you get the arm in here it's easier to put this bolt in first and then go down here and put this one in
Now this bolt right here, the factory spec is 12 millimeters by 80. I like to use 12 millimeter by 85 or by 90 millimeters. This one here is 90 millimeters thread length. That gives me more room for a washer and nut on this end. Now, when it comes to tightening these bolts, you never tighten them unless the suspension is under ride height because you can tear the rubber bushing in the trailing arm. However, if you go to monoball bushings, like we did, you can see it has a spherical bushing, much like the top up there. We like to put spherical top and bottom for full articulation. If you have a spherical bushing down here and up here, you can tighten these bolts up just like this with the suspension drooped because whenever the car gets lowered down and the suspension gets compressed, the spherical style bushings, they just freely rotate. Whereas the original rubber down here on the non-M3 cars, they will tear or prematurely wear because they'll be under a lot of stress if you tighten them before preloading the suspension. So since these already have spherical right here and we installed spherical down here, we can tighten these up right now because everything will just freely rotate whenever the car gets put on the ground. We now have a limited slip differential installed into the turbo project along with these beautiful lower camber arms. Okay, that is all for the differential. Now in the next video, we're going to talk about this custom downpipe that we built. We will also discuss the rest of the exhaust back there. And furthermore, we will also talk about heat management with custom heat shielding like that. That is all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. I will see you in the next one. Catch you later. That is all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. I really enjoyed seeing you here tonight. I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.